What's up world, it's your boy Drew Marcy and in this video we're going to teach you how to write a rap for the first time. Now we're confident this system works because we've taught literally tens of thousands of rappers from around the world. I personally just got off a world tour of over three continents, 15 plus countries and this is the system that I used when I first decided I wanted to learn how to write a rap. So if you stay tuned, it's going to be easy to follow, it's step by step, it's interactive and you're going to get a lot of value out of it. You'll have a rap written by the end of this video, I swear. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now step number one and the most common beginning question is how should I write it? What should I write with? Now Eminem, Tupac, Nas, cats like that, they do the OG handwritten pen in the pad approach. Uh, Jay-Z is well known for going into the booth, having pre-thought of his entire verse and then rapping it out loud, having never written down a thing. Lil Wayne does a similar approach, uh, but line by line, so does Kanye. But for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna have you choose between handwritten pen and a pad or a notes app in your phone. Either one is totally acceptable. So what we're gonna do is pause the video so you can get your writing materials. Either choose that pen and a pad or choose the notes app and then we'll rock on. All right, now that you got your writing materials, we have to decide what to rap about. Now there's a million things you can rap about and hopefully this won't be the only time that you learn how to write a rap. But just to get you writing and get in the flow, we've gone and researched what the most common ways of starting a verse according to the top 100 rap songs on Google is. And what we found was there's a common theme among the Eminems, the Tupacs, the 50s, all these people of starting their verse. And that is first person, present tense, description of frustrating circumstances, the struggle, difficult times, first person, present tense. That's how Cleaning Out My Closet by Eminem starts. That's how Hate It or Love It by 50 Cent starts. That's how Changes by Tupac starts. So what we're gonna do is pause the video, throw up a couple different themes around this of frustrating circumstances to get the ideas flowing. I want you to choose one, and when you're writing, you're gonna do it in first person, present tense. So let's rock, pause the video, get that idea. All right, so now you've got your topic, you know what you're gonna rap about and it's gonna be relevant to you. Now the next question most commonly in step number three is how long should it be? Now, there's a common length among rap verses around history and that's known as 16 bars. You might've heard that expression. Now bars is a very specific term in rap. Uh, it's also a music theory term that has a slightly different definition. Just to get you writing, we're not gonna get too deep into it, but for the purposes of this lesson, just think of a bar as one line of writing. A line in your notebook to the margin, a line in your notes app, right? So 16 lines of rap, 16 bars of rap is the common length. So what we want you to do is just write one to 16 on your piece of paper, one to 16 on your notes app. We'll pause really quick so you can do that and then we'll keep going. Next question, next step. Where do I put the words that rhyme? What word should rhyme? I know you're probably envisioning the M&Ms, the Kendricks, the Coles, they got rhymes flowing everywhere, but we're not gonna overwhelm you right now. We just wanna get you to have a rap done. So only worry right now about rhyming words at the end of each line, at the end of the bar. And there's 16 bars. I want you to be rhyming those words just two at a time, eight pairs, right? So worry about the end of the line, and just worry about two rhymes at a time. And the final question that we always get before we start our writing session is this, do I need a beat? What should the beat be? Now, of course, the most powerful thing about rap music is the interaction between two main rhythms, the vocal rhythm, the cadence, the flow, and the rhythm of the instrumental, the music, the beats. Of course, that's gonna be a big thing, but we're not gonna worry about it right now and overwhelm you. Part of the reason probably you were nervous about starting to rap was thinking, how do I choose a beat? How do I make sure my voice sounds good? How do I stay on beat? Where is the flow within the beat? All that stuff. It's not overwhelming you right now. Let's just focus on what we've already learned, which is quite a bit. We got 16 bars. We've got rhyming at the end of each line in these couplets and these two at a time. We've got first person narrative. We got frustrating circumstances present that we got a lot, right? So let's get into writing. Don't worry about the beat. Let's go.
All right, the moment of decision has come. My favorite part of the day, we write a rap. Drum roll. All right, now one quick piece of advice before you start. 16 bars seems like a lot to do, especially if you're brand new when you learn how to write a rap. What I would suggest is using the four bar method. What that means is we got 16, four times four. Much better to organize your thoughts and how you're writing in your process four bars at a time. Just worry about telling a story in four bars rather than the entire 16. That way you can come back, review what you've written, change some rhymes if you needed to, and not feel so overwhelmed. So for this step, we're just gonna focus on the first four bars. What I want you to do in these four bars is tell me as your fan, as the listener of your first rap, from a first person perspective, some images about these frustrating frustrating circumstances that you chose. Whether that's that relationship, whether it's your financial issues, whether it's the family dynamic, whatever your theme was, tell me in just four bars what that looks like from your perspective. So we'll pause the video, you write your four bars, and I'll see you on the other side. All right, your first four bars are written and you've told me a little bit as your first fan about your circumstances. Next, I want you to tell me about how your friends, your family, your community, your homies are experiencing these frustrating circumstances. How are they getting along with their money? Uh, what do they think about the relationship, whatever it is you chose? So you did your part of describing from your view. Now tell us about how other people in your frustrating circumstances feel. Rock out with the next four bars and I'll see you on the other side. All right, you're halfway through your very first rap. Congratulations, you're becoming a real rapper. That's amazing. Now you've told me about your perspective, you told me about your homie's perspective. Now I want you to tell me, what are you gonna do to change these circumstances? How are you gonna overcome? Are you gonna hustle? Are you gonna grind your way out of it, out of your environment? Are you gonna leave that tough relationship? Are you gonna move away from the harsh family dynamic? Tell me a little bit about how you're gonna get out of these circumstances uh, that you're feeling that you described with your homies and your friends. Spend the next four bars telling me that, and I'll see you there. And lastly, wow, you're so close to getting this done. This is absolutely incredible. You're doing really well. And the last step we want you to do is tell me how it's going to feel when you get out. You told me about how it feels to be there. You told me about how your homies feel about it. You told me what you're going to do to change it. You've taken me through a journey as your first fan and your first rap. Now tell me how it's going to feel when you're on and popping, when you've gotten out of the circumstances, when you're going to celebrate. How are you going to celebrate? Who are you going to celebrate it with? The homies that you mentioned or are you leaving the homies? Are you getting a new girlfriend? What you doing? So finish off the verse strong, the last four bars, with telling me how it feels to be at the top. How are you going to celebrate? Let me envision your success, the rags to riches. Last four bars. Let's go. All right, congratulations. Give yourself a hand. You just finished your first rap. It's absolutely incredible. No cap, no gas. I know you're stepping out of your comfort zone. It's amazing that you're able to do this. You can really call yourself a rapper at this point. I'm not one of these coaches, one of these people that's like, oh, you gotta have shot X amount of people or have X amount of million dollars or got X amount of girls in order to consider yourself a rapper. Nah, 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 nah. If you write, you're a writer. If you act, you're an actor. If you paint, you're a painter. If you rap, you're a rapper. So you can call yourself a rapper right now. That's really dope. Congratulations. Now, I know we said it's a nine step process, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a bonus. Bonus. So if you're going to wrap this out loud, what you just wrote, and you should, that's part of it. I think what you should do is practice slow and then speed up. When they teach you how to learn a musical instrument, like a complex guitar solo from Jimi Hendrix or whatever, a piano where you're learning to play chords and, and melodies at the same time, they have you start practicing slow and then speed up the tempo as you go forward. Rap is the same, especially with enunciation. I want to hear you practicing your consonants, those D's, those C's, those S's. That's what makes rap sound really crisp and really dope and really professional. But practice that slow 
and then speed up right so that's a little bonus tip for all you who want to practice rapping this thing out loud now if you've watched this for the first time and there's many other questions I'm sure you had be sure to hit that subscribe button we'll be doing many tutorials on this we've been obviously you probably see the channel we got a lot uh, already but we're gonna be doing more and more in 2019 so be sure to hit that subscribe button but most importantly I want to hear from you in the comments you watched the video you've gone through the training I want to know what made you want to start writing rap? What made you make the decision to go search out tutorials and the guy in the Washington hat and you know learn step by step how to write a rap? What got you into rapping? Why did you first want to learn how to write a rap? All right, so put that in the comments. I'll see you there. I'll be chatting with you. I'll read them all. Thank you for watching. It's the big homie Drew. See you in the comments. Peace.